The Dearborn Heights City Libraries present 5 to 10 crafting series with Eileen and Venus. I'm Eileen. And I'm Venus. Crafts are for elementary children, but all ages are welcome. Each month we will be doing a craft video. Crafts will be available for a limited time for pickup at Dearborn Heights City Libraries and when possible as a download on our website. Now, let's get crafting. This month's craft is Toilet Paper Roll Fox Craft. Happy Birthday Roll Doll, September 13th. This craft is a nod to his book, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Supplies from the kit. Fox template, toilet paper roll. From home, orange and white construction paper, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Everything else, glue and scissors. Directions from the kit. Cut out all the fox pieces from the template. Cut out the big orange rectangle. Lay the orange paper flat and glue the fox's legs near the bottom in the center of the paper with black paws hanging over the edge. Glue fur about an inch below top of paper, a bit above legs. Glue head right above fur, overlap chin a bit, with top of head sticking over the paper a bit. Now wrap and glue fox around the toilet paper roll. Bend the back end of tail and glue to toilet paper roll. Bend the paws up so it sits flat. Directions From home, draw and cut out fox face, tail, neck fur, and paws. Take a piece of orange paper and cut to toilet paper roll size. Lay the orange paper flat and glue the fox's legs near the bottom in the center of the paper with black paws hanging over the edge. Glue fur about an inch below top of paper, a bit above legs. Glue head right above fur, overlap chin a bit with top of head sticking over the paper a bit. Now roll orange paper fox and secure ends together with glue. Bend the back end of tail and glue to orange paper. Bend the paws up so it sits flat. Toilet paper roll directions and the fox template along with scissors and glue. Cut the orange rectangle which will be wrapped around the toilet paper roll. Add glue on the toilet paper roll. Put some glue on the edge of the paper. Line it up. Then roll the paper around the toilet paper roll. Glue down the end, making sure it overlaps. And that's the fox body. Cut out the neck fur, feet, tail, and head. Put some glue on the top of the toilet paper roll and glue on the head. They usually have neck fur, so you can secure the neck fur under the chin with some more glue. Add some glue to the bottom of the toilet paper roll to attach the feet. Then bend the paws up so it looks like he's sitting. Bend the short skinny end of the tail over just a little, put some glue on it, and attach it to the side of the toilet paper roll. And here's what my fox looks like. Now let's see what Miss Eileen created using supplies from home. Our project today is a little fox. It's a red fox, or in this case, sort of an orange fox. I have materials out here. I've got a toilet paper roll. And this is something you can find around the house. And I have some crayon, my black crayon, white paper, orange paper, glue. Oh, and I've got my scissors as well. And I have some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can always draw eyes on. First off, I want to wrap the toilet paper roll in orange. So I'm going to lay it on here and just kind of mark the top off of where the roll is. Okay, so now I got my roll of paper. And I'm gonna put that on there. And you can roll it. 
And if you got too much on the end, you can always cut a little off, but make sure you overlap. You want to overlap it so you can glue it. Now I've got my paper. I'm going to get my glue. Okay. I'm going to put some glue on my toilet paper where all I got my fingers stuck inside so I don't get my fingers all full of glue. All right, and then I'm going to put a little glue on one side of this. And I'm going to stick that right to it. And then I'm going to kind of roll it around. And then when I get around to this side, I'm going to put some glue right along the edge here and even some on my paper here. So when it comes around, it sticks real good. Now with the rest of the paper, I'm gonna do some drawing. Now a fox's face is kind of almost like a triangle, almost like a triangle like that, except for it's a little more round. So I'm gonna kind of make it a little more round on top and a little rounder on the bottom. Cut that out. All right. So on his face, he's gonna have a black nose. And his eyes, if you don't have googly eyes to put on, you can always draw two eyes just like that. But I think we're gonna use our googly eyes. I like googly eyes. So I'm just gonna take some glue and right where I drew one, I'm gonna put one right there. Now we need to draw some ears. And ears are very easy to do. Just take a scrap piece of this and we're gonna cut two triangles. Just like that. I'm gonna put one here and one over there. So we got one ear here and the other ear over here. So now there's our fox. He's got his two ears and his nose. If you want, you can always cut some white paper, cut off the corners and right over here, and glue those right there. So he has a white on his muzzle. That is gonna go right there. And then we can cut that out. And if it's too wide, we're gonna glue it just like that. And it looks kind of funny, but then we're gonna bend it. So. His tail sticks out sideways, just like that. So, and then we can take our crayon and on the bottom, we can color his paws. Those are gonna go right down the bottom. We're gonna put some nice glue there. Glue one right here. Glue the other one right next to it. And then we're gonna bend his feet up. It's like he's walking. All this stuff outside. And there is our little red fox, or in this case, our little orange fox. You have fun doing this crap. Enjoyed what you saw here? Subscribe to the Dearborn Heights Library channel on YouTube and be notified when there's a new episode. Did you know that with your Dearborn Heights Library card, you can borrow ebooks, e audiobooks, stream thousands of hours of music, and even movies? You can download apps for your devices or visit our website on a computer. Last blurb, we promise. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in! in.